a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Geraint Thomas Geraint Howell Thomas is a British professional racing cyclist who rides for the UCI World Team, Wales, and Great Britain. Competing on both track and road, he has won three world championships, two Olympic gold medals, and one Tour de France. Thomas' early successes were in track cycling, in which he was a specialist in the team pursuit. He won three world championships and was Olympic gold medalist twice, in 2008 and 2012. Thomas had an early win on the road at the 2004 Paris Roubaix Juniors and later had a senior victory at the 2010 British National Road Race Championships. Leaving track cycling to focus solely on the road, he subsequently found success in both one-day-slash-classic races such as the 2014 Commonwealth Games Road Race and the 2015 E3 Heilbecker, and in one-week stage races, most notably at the 2016 Paris Nice. The 2017 Tour of the Alps and the 2018 Criterium du Dauphiné. In cycling's Grand Tours, Thomas was initially a lead domestique to Chris Froome and Bradley Wiggins in their victories. He won the first stage of 2017 Tour de France, an individual time trial, to become the first Welshman to wear the Tour's yellow jersey. He later crashed in that race, as well as the 2017 Giro d'Italia, before winning the 2018 Tour de France. He gained the yellow jersey by winning stage 11, extended his lead by winning stage 12, and retained the lead for the remainder of the event. He became the first Welshman, and the third British cyclist after Wiggins and Froome, to win the Tour. Early life and amateur career Born in Birchgrove, Cardiff, Wales, Thomas attended Whitchurch High School. He began cycling with the Mindy Flyers Cycling Club at Mindy Stadium at the age of 10, where he rode with future Team Sky teammate Lou Crow, before going on to ride for other local clubs, Cycling Club Cardiff and Cardiff just in front. His first race bike was a Blue Giant, following some successes in under-14 and under-16 events, including national championships. His first notable success came when he won silver medal in the points race at the 2004 UAC European Track Championships. 2005-2006, Early Years Thomas became a member of British Cycling's Olympic Academy. He won the Carwin James Jr. Award at the BBC Wales Sports Personality of the Year ceremony. Thomas competed at World Cup events around the world and was training in Sydney. Australia, in February 2005 when he crashed after the rider in front of him hit a piece of metal in the road which was flicked up into Thomas' wheel. He suffered internal bleeding after the piece of metal entered his body during the fall, rupturing his spleen which subsequently had to be removed. He rode most of his races of 2006 for, but towards the end of 2006 joined as a stage year. He also rode a few races, such as the Tour of Britain, for the Great Britain squad. 2007, Tour de France debut Thomas made his Tour de France debut at the 2007 race as the youngest rider in the race as picked up one of the three wildcard spots allocated for the race. He became the first Welsh rider to compete in the race since Colin Lewis in 1967. Thomas received great support from Welsh fans at the opening of the race, with several following the entire race. He completed his first Tour de France, finishing 140th of 141 finishes. He was nominated for the BBC Wales Sports Personality of the Year Award in 2007. The winners were announced on 2 December. Thomas was third in the public vote. 2008, Olympic Gold Thomas did not compete in the Tour de France, instead. He rode the Giro d'Italia earlier in the season before returning to Britain to concentrate on preparations for the Summer Olympics in Beijing. On discovering that the flags of non-participating nations would not be allowed at the Games, Thomas said, It would be great to do a lap of honour draped in the Welsh flag if I win a gold medal. And I'm very disappointed if this rule means that would not be possible. On 17 August, Thomas was a member of the Olympic Team Pursuit squad which broke the world record in the heats with a time of 3 colon 55.202, beating their Russian opponents comfortably to go through to the final ride-off for silver and gold. The following day, on their way to winning the gold medal, 
the British team pursuit broke their own world record in a time of 3 colon 53.314, beating their Danish competitors by 6.7 seconds. Thomas had been a possible contender in the individual pursuit, but opted not to ride both events as he did not want to compromise the efforts of his team. He had also been considered to compete in the Madison with Bradley Wiggins, but it was Mark Cavendish who was selected to do so. Chris Boardman stated that, Geraint keeps surpassing people's expectations. Following the disqualification of fellow teammate, Moise Estwinias, from the Tour de France, Thomas expressed his strong anti-doping opinions on his blog on the BBC 606 website colon. If someone is fraudulent in a business, wouldn't they be facing a prison term? I don't see how riders taking drugs to win races and lying to their teams is any different. Bang them up and throw away the key. In December, he was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire in the 2009 New Year Honours. 2009 Thomas suffered a bad start to his 2009 season when he broke his pelvis and fractured his nose in a fall. He crashed into a safety barrier having misjudged a turn in the time trial stage of the Terreno Adriatico in Macerata, Italy. The crash came shortly after an 8 km time check showed he was second fastest on the road, although he was able to return to his team hotel from hospital the same day. A period of 20 days complete rest was required before he would be able to resume training. On 30 October 2009, Thomas set the fastest pursuit time under current rules. At the time, when he completed 4 km in 4 colon 15.105 at the first round of the 2009-10 UCI Track Cycling World Cup Classics at Manchester Velodrome, Thomas' time was only surpassed by Chris Boardman's 4 colon 11.114, set in 1996 on a bicycle position that had since been banned. On 1 November, on the last day of the World Cup round, Thomas was a member of the Team Pursuit squad which set the second fastest time ever on their way to the gold medal, setting a new track record of 3 minutes 54.395 seconds in the process. Thomas was runner-up to Ryan Giggs in the BBC Wales Sports Personality of the Year Award in 2009. The winners were announced on 8 December. He left Barla World at the end of 2009 to join new British team. 2010, moved to Team Sky. Thomas began 2010 as part of the team time trial winning team for Sky at the Tour of Qatar. After competing in the classics, he impressed at the Criterium du Dauphiné, finishing in the top 10 in each of the opening four stages. As a result of these finishes, he was the leader in green jersey competition for stages 2, 4 and 6. He finished 5th in the green jersey competition overall, and 21st in the general classification. Thomas beat teammate Peter Kenner to win the 2010 British National Road Race Championships. His good form continued into the Tour de France, in which he finished 5th in the prologue and 2nd on stage 3. This led to him leading the young rider classification after stage 3. Thomas finished 67th overall in the Tour, and 9th in the Young Rider classification. Thomas had been due to travel to Delhi, India, in September to compete in the Commonwealth Games, but pulled out, as did several other cyclists, due to health concerns. Dengue fever was one specific concern cited. Illness was especially a risk for Thomas following the removal of his spleen in 2005. Following the decision, Thomas said, It's a massive disappointment, I only get to ride for Wales once every four years, but that's the decision I had to make. 2011 Thomas started 2011 with some promising performances in the Classics, finishing 6th in the Classic Asada, and 2nd in the Dwarves Door of Landeren before placing 10th in the Tour of Flanders Thomas claimed his first professional victory in May by winning the five-day Bayern Run Far Race, after finishing second on stage three, and fifth on stage four. On the 26th of June 2011, Thomas finished second to Bradley Wiggins in the British National Road Race Championships. At the Tour de France, Thomas finished sixth on the opening stage to take the white jersey. He retained the jersey the following day, as Sky finished third in the team time trial. Thomas lost the white jersey to Robert Jessink on stage seven as team leader Bradley Wiggins crashed out of the tour, and the remaining Sky Riders lost time after waiting for him.
Thomas won the Combativity Award on the 212 km Stage 12, following an aggressive breakaway 2 km into the first Pyrenean stage. That saw him lose control twice on the descent of La Auquette d'Ancison. He finished 36th on the stage after being caught by the general classification leaders with 7 km to go on the final climb of the day, and rose to 25th overall. Thomas signed a new three-year contract with Sky after stage 16. He finished 31st overall in the tour. Thomas had a successful tour of Britain, winning the points classification, having been highly placed in the overall standings before a crash. He was part of the Great Britain team for the road race at the UCI Road World Championships, and helped lead out Mark Cavendish to victory. 2012, Second Gold Thomas focused on track cycling for the 2012 season, competing at the Summer Olympics in London. As such, the Giro d'Italia was his road race priority, before turning his focus to the track. In March, Thomas did ride Paris-Nice, where he helped Bradley Wiggins take overall victory. On 4 April Thomas was a member of the British Team Pursuit team that won gold at the UCI Track Cycling World Championships in Melbourne, with a new world record of 3. 53.295 seconds. He also teamed up with Ben Swift to take the silver medal in the Madison. Thomas then returned to the road, winning the prologue of the Tour de Romandie. Thomas finished second behind Taylor Finney in the opening time trial of the Giro d'Italia. Thomas acted as lead-out man to Mark Cavendish in the race, helping him to three stage victories. Thomas also finished second to Marco Pinotti in the final stage time trial in Milan. Thomas was selected for the Team Pursuit team for the Olympics, along with Stephen Burke, Ed Clancy, and Peter Kenner. On 2 August the quartet set a new world record of 3 colon 52.499 in the first heat of the event. The team set the fastest time in the first round, setting up a final with Australia to decide the gold medal winners. In the final, the British team set another world record of 3 colon 51.659, finishing nearly three seconds ahead of the Australians, with Thomas retaining his gold medal in the event. 2013 Thomas began the 2013 season at the Tour Down Under. He won stage two after attacking on the corkscrew climb, and out sprinting three riders that had joined him on the descent. Thomas held the race lead until the penultimate stage, where he cracked on Old Willunga Hill and dropped to fifth overall. However, he fought back on the final stage in Adelaide, taking enough bonus seconds to rise to third place overall, 25 seconds behind Dutch rider Tom Yelta Slagter, and won the sprint's classification. Thomas was given a leadership role in Sky's Classics campaign. His best results were a couple of fourth places in Omelupet Newsblad and E3 Heilbecker. As he crashed out of contention in Milan San Remo, the tour of Flanders and Paris would be. After a break, Thomas returned to action at the Bayern Rundfahr, where he finished second overall. He showed excellent climbing form at the Criterium du Dauphiné, helping Chris Froome and Richie Porte secure a 1 2 overall finish, whilst also placing 15th overall himself. He was selected to ride the Tour de France, but crashed heavily on the opening stage. Thomas started the next stage, but struggled, finishing second last, and after returning to hospital was found to have a fractured pelvis. Despite his injury, Thomas continued, and managed to finish the tour in 140th place, helping Froome take overall victory. 2014 Thomas once again started the season at the Tour Down Under, this time riding in support of Richie Porte, and finishing 8th overall. Thomas was again scheduled to support Port at Paris Nice. But an injury to Froome meant that Port was switched to Terreno Adriatico, leaving Thomas to lead the squad in France. Thomas performed strongly, finishing second to S. Tom Yelta Slagter on the fourth stage, to take the leader's yellow jersey, before dropping to second behind Carlos Batanka on the sixth stage. The next day however, Thomas hit a tree on a descent 5 km from the finish. Although he would complete the stage some seven minutes in arrears, Thomas did not start the final stage. Thomas recovered to take his good form into the classic season, finishing third in E3 Heilbecker. He led at the Tour of Flanders and managed an eighth-place finish, 37 seconds behind the winning rider, Fabian Cancellara. 
Having had to chase back after being dropped on the Tangberg climb, Thomas also secured a hard-fought seventh position in Paris-Roubaix, finishing as part of a group 20 seconds behind solo winner Nicky Terpstra having been active in an earlier break with Tom Boonen. In May, Thomas won the overall classification at Bayern Runfar for the second time in his career, after winning the individual time trial on Stage 4. In the Tour de France, Thomas acted as a domestique to Sky teammate Richie Porte, following the withdrawal of his compatriot Chris Froome on Stage 5. Porte soon fell down the overall standings after suffering badly on Stage 13 to Chamorousse. Thomas was then given the freedom to go for stage wins and appeared in a number of breakaways. Thomas was the only Briton to finish the race, placing 22nd overall, his best ever result in the Tour de France. Thomas represented Wales at the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. He won bronze in the individual time trial behind Alex Dowsett of England and Rowan Dennis of Australia. Thomas won gold in the road race after attacking Scott Thwaites and Jack Bauer on the final lap of the Glasgow city centre circuit, and built up a large enough gap to survive a scare when he had to change a wheel in the closing stages. Thomas rounded off his season with sixth overall at the Ineco Tour in August. In December, Thomas was voted the BBC Wales Sports Personality of the Year. 2015 in February 2015 Thomas won the second stage of the Volta au Algarve after following an attack by Rain Tara May on the final climb of the day, before going clear and holding off the chasers on the descent to the finish, 19 seconds ahead of the Estonian and 23 seconds ahead of the peloton to take the race lead. He defended the lead by placing third in the time trial on stage 3, and fourth on stage 4, which finished on the summit of the Alto du Montjau and was won by teammate Richie Porte. He finished safely on the final stage to claim overall victory. Thomas' next race was Paris Nice. He took second place on the race's Queen stage to the Col de la Croix de Chaubert, again behind Port. He lost time on the penultimate stage of the race, after crashing on a wet descent, but continued, and finished fifth in the overall standings. The following week, he took part in the Milan San Remo. He attacked on several occasions during the race most significantly on the descent of the suppressor. Although he led the race solo over the top of the Poggio, he was caught soon afterwards and finished just behind the front group. Five days later, Thomas became the first British rider to win the E3 Heilbecker. Attacking from a three-man breakaway with Zdenek Steibar and Peter Sagan in the closing stages and holding on to triumph. Two days later Thomas finished third in Gentwevelgen behind Luca Paolini and Nicky Terpstra. Despite being blown off his bike and crashing due to a gust of wind in extreme weather conditions. In June, Thomas produced one of the best climbing performances of his career at the Tour de Suisse by finishing fifth on stage five, which finished with a climb to the Rettenbach Glacier to an altitude of 2,669 meters with the last 12.1 kilometers featured an average gradient of 10.7%. Thomas placed fifth in the concluding time trial on stage nine missing out on overall victory by a gap of five seconds to Simon Spilak. At the Tour de France Thomas played a support role for Chris Froome, helping him navigate a first week featuring crosswinds, hilltop finishes, cobblestones and a team time trial. On the first mountain stage in the Pyrenees, Thomas helped set up Froome's winning attack by reducing the peloton on the final climb, the Col de la Pierre Saint Martin, and placed sixth on the stage alongside Alejandro Valverde of the this result meant Thomas rose to fifth overall on the general classification. He dropped down to sixth after finishing just over half a minute behind Alberto Contador on stage 14 from Rodez to Mendy. On stage 16, Warren Barguil lost control approaching a hairpin bend in the descent of the Col de Mans and collided with Thomas, causing him to crash headfirst into a telegraph pole and fall into a ditch. However Thomas escaped serious injury, and was able to complete the stage and lost just 38 seconds to the leading group. He subsequently moved up to fourth overall after stage 17 to Pra Loop, when TJ Van Garderen pulled out of the race due to illness and Contador lost time due to a crash. However he struggled on stage 19's climb up La Wire, finishing 22 minutes behind stage winner Vincenzo Nibali and sliding down to 15th place in the general classification. 27 minutes and 24 seconds off for him. In August he was named in the start list for the Vuelta a España. 
Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?